Alrighty, hello everybody. <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple pulley mechanism in Onshape with the use of those Vex IQ pieces. Alright, so <clears throat> this is what the final setup is going to end up looking like. I'll go into an isometric view and you'll see whenever I pull this guy, we're going to see that this other little piece over here is going to start moving. Or if I do this where I pull this, we'll see that this big piece starts to move. And so <clears throat> what you're going to be noticing is that while I'm moving this, uh, we can see that this piece right here is moving a whole lot faster than this piece here. And it's actually going to be moving four times faster um, than this pulley right here at this wheel. And the reason for that is because this actually has four times the diameter of this piece right here. This piece's diameter is 10 millimeters and this bigger piece is 40 millimeters. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get down to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to create a new assembly. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring in a one by eight beam, or really it could be any beam of your choice, truly. And then we're going to bring in two two inch shafts. Then I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to bring in the 40 millimeter pulley wheel, as well as a 10 millimeter pulley. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click on this guy, and then I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees, just so that we can see this pretty well. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Remember, we always do want to fix at least one piece so that we're not going to have tons of movement uh, in on shape with us. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and use the Revolute Mate. And so I'm going to do the good old shift trick, hover over this face, hold down shift, and then click on the center in there. What I'm going to then do is go to my shaft here, and I'm going to end up using that. I'm also going to end up offsetting this. I'm going to put this in there so it's about in uh, about a one inch. What I'm then going to do next is I'm going to use another Revolute Mate. I'm going to set this up. <clears throat> Click right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also find the matching corresponding point or mate. And we're going to put it right there. Once again, we're going to offset this by one inch just so that it's not sticking out completely. And then so now at this point, we can end up adding in um, these pulley wheels. So we're going to go ahead and fasten. That's what we're going to use because we want this to be staying on or fasten to our shaft here. And then so what we also want to end up doing for this is we want to also ensure that these are lined up here. So what we might end up having to do is reorient the secondary axis here. Um, let's see, we can also do offset, rotate about X. We can go, looks like 45 degrees to me. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oops, sorry wrong axis there that we're trying to rotate about we want to rotate about the z axis my apologies i'm going to press 45 <clears throat> now that's looking pretty solid uh in terms of that offset i'm going to actually move this guy in here a little bit so in the z axis we're going to also go in about maybe half of an inch maybe 0.625 let's try that out that is looking pretty solid so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and green check mark that then we're going to go ahead and do just basically the same thing over here with this fasten mate and then as well Clicking here, nice. Uh, we wanna make sure that these are lined up. As we can see in here, those are lined up indeed. And we're gonna go ahead and offset this by the same amount. Uh, it's gonna be Z axis, 0.625 inches. There we go, we've got that in there. Now, in terms of this, in real life, um, obviously, whenever we rotate this guy, it's not gonna end up rotating this with the current setup, right? Because we don't actually have that piece of string or that wire in here that's gonna actually be able to transfer this motion. Um, we could end up doing that in on shape. What you can end up doing is you could use the good old sweep tool, right? We could create a line that goes right here, follows this, um, and just basically runs on the edge here of this and then comes back around and runs around the edge of this. Um, However, we wouldn't actually be able to get that to move and rotate as well. So um, just imagine that there is the pulley wire in here. That's what we want to do. So what we can do next is we gonna, we're going to go ahead and hit the gear relation tool here. So what I can do is I can select the two mates that I want to have this motion with. Um, and what we're going to see in here is that there's a negative 150.934 degrees. This is a positive, so I do want to end up reversing this direction. We will now see that this is a positive degree and this is a positive degree as well. And so now what we want is it to be the case that this is going to be rotating four times the amount that this is actually rotating. So if I put in a gear 
ratio of four, we're gonna see that it actually is gonna be the case where this is 603.737, which is four times this amount. So what I've actually got to do in this case is put one fourth. Now, it depends on what Revolut mate you've got in there first. If it's the case where Revolut 2 here, where it's this big pulley, um, is on there first, then it would be the case where I'd have to put four. But just because of um, how this works out sequentially here with these Revolutes, um, I've got to put in a fourth for this. So I'm pressing the green check mark. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this. And so now, as you can see, we've got it where this guy is also rotating. What I can also do is I can right click this, I can animate. And then if I put in loop, we can actually watch this in action. So everything does look good. If you end up finding that this is actually going slower than this, remember, instead of putting in a fourth, try out putting four for your gear ratio.